hi slim stars welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make a booboo wrapper dress so it's a booboo dress but it can be styled to look like a wrapper i know it's just such an innovative creative design and it's such such a beautiful one and it's trending at the moment and i thought to show you guys how to make it also you can also style this booboo dress in another way other than the wrapper way <laughs> so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> so i'm using three yards of fabric for this and i went ahead to divide my fabric into four so i can cut my front piece and my back piece together now what i'm doing is i divided my hip circumference by two and that's what i'm marking now from the fold my hip circumference is 38 inches i divided that by two and that gave me nine inches so i'm just marking that from the fold okay you want to mark this first before you start your measurements so if you're plus size you might have to use three and a half or even four yards okay i'm a size eight and this is how i'm making mine with three yards of fabric now i'm going to go ahead and mark the length of my dress i wanted my dress to be a full length dress so i want it to be about 60 inches so i'm just marking the length of my dress okay and i also went ahead to extend that baseline now from the baseline there i'm just marking my um armhole line okay which is eight inches that's the first thing i'm marking and then i'm marking my bust point line which is 10 inches my waistline which is 15 inches and I'm also marking my hip line, which is 23 inches as well. And I'm going to extend all those lines. And I've also gone ahead to label the lines as well. Now my baseline, I divided my shoulder measurement by two. And I marked that on my baseline there, which gave me seven inches. Okay. And then I'm marking half inch allowance to that. So in total, what I have on that baseline is seven and a half inches and i'm marking that same seven and a half inches on my armhole line and connecting it to my baseline now i'm going to measure from the baseline to the armhole and i'm going to get the midpoints okay then once i get that midpoint i'm just going to draw a curve from that midpoint to the armhole line there now for my neck i'm just marking my the depth of my back neckline first which is one and a half inches and then my neck width is three and a half inches it's important that you mark your back neckline first because remember that your piece your front and back pieces are folded together now from the baseline i'm just going up by half inch so i can create my shoulder slope i'm going to draw a diagonal line to connect that half inch mark down to the baseline and that will create my shoulder slope now for my on my bust point i'm just dividing my bust circumference by four marking that and i added two inches allowance to that on my waistline i'm dividing my waist circumference by four marking that on my waistline and i'm adding two inches allowance to that and then on my hip line i'm dividing my hip circumference by four marking that and i'm adding two inches allowance to my hip line now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to measure the same um points i have on my hip line okay including the allowance and i'm going to mark that on my hem okay mark that on my hem so the same measurement i got on my hip including the allowance i'm marking that on the hem so that from the hip all the way down to the hem is going to be straight so as you can see i'm connecting the hip the point on the hip line all the way down to the hem and then i'm also connecting the other points i marked as well now make sure to go ahead and curve all the points so that it's not boxy just make sure that it's nice and fluid now on that waistline there to create that wrapper effect i'm going to go up from the waistline by one and a half inches and down from the waistline by one and a half inches as well okay now i'm going to go ahead and just cut my neckline my shoulder slope okay and then i'm also going to cut that outer um outline that i marked okay so the main outline just going to cut that out
and now what i'm going to do is from my armhole line i'm going to come down by two inches and that fell on my bust point line so come down from your armhole line by two inches okay and then connect that point to the one and a half inches mark you marked above your waistline okay so come down from the armhole line by two inches for me it fell on my bust point line it might not fall on your bust point line but just come down from your armhole by two inches and then draw a curve to connect it to the 1.5 inches you marked above your waistline now for the other side for, for the other allowance you marked just go in from the edge of the fabric by half an inch okay and then connect that all the way down to the hem and then you can go ahead and now cut that out once you're done this is what you're going to have can you see now that part on the waistline is where i'm going to attach my belt and when i measure it what i have is three inches so just take note of that now i've separated my pieces this is now my back piece okay so just take one as your back piece and one as your front piece now from the neckline downwards i'm just marking three inches downwards and i'm just going to cut along the fold okay i'm doing this so that i can put a button on the back on my back piece okay you don't have to do this and then for my front piece, I just took the other piece for my front piece. And I'm just coming down from the neckline by about 4 inches. Yes, I'm coming down by 4 inches. And then I'm marking that and I'm connecting that all the way back to the um, original neckline that I had. So you want to decide how low your front neckline is, okay? And then once you're done with the neckline, for the armhole, you also want to go in by about half an inch for the front piece, okay? connect it back to the shoulder and back to the rest of the armhole now what this does is it gives a better fitting for your front piece it's very very important that you do this okay for the back piece you don't have to trim the armhole any further just leave it as it is and then also make sure that you cut your um, front neckline to be deeper than your back neckline now for my sleeve i'm just coming down by four inches okay this is a folded fabric that i'm going to be using for my sleeve I came down by 5 inches, pardon me. And then the length of my sleeve is about 25 inches. Now on that 5 inch mark, I'm just marking my uh, um, my round sleeve measurements divided by 2. And then I added 1 inch allowance to that. I'm now drawing a diagonal line from that um, point I marked on the 5 inch mark all the way to the corner of my, the corner of the top of my, um, fabric and then i'm just drawing the curve to create my sleeve okay and then after that i'm just drawing a diagonal line from the point again on that five inch mark all the way to the hem of my sleeve now the width of my sleeve at the hem is about nine inches you can decide how wide or narrow you want your sleeve to be i'm going to be attaching elastic at the bottom part of this sleeve you can also you don't have to add elastic if you don't want to okay that's the style of sleeve I want to use for this piece. So just decide whatever kind of sleeve you want and then go ahead and cut it out. And this is what it looks like. Now for the belt I'm going to be using, I'm going to be attaching to my dress to um, help me tie the wrapper on my waist. I'm just folding um, you know, my, my fabric piece. So I'm just marking 30 inches as the length of the belt. My waist measurement is 29 inches so I just added 1 inch to that now for the width of my belt it's actually three and a half inches okay so the width of my belt is three and a half inches and then the length is my normal waist circumference plus one inch so go ahead and also um, cut out your own belt you're going to have to cut out two pieces of this so this is one piece i'm going to go ahead and cut out another piece as well as you can see here i'm going to close one end and also sew along the length of the piece okay for both of them and then once i'm done i'm going to turn it out to the wrong side to the right side pardon me now this is what my front piece looks like when i've unfolded it now i'm just placing my back piece on top of my front piece as you can see right now
and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that belt i'm going to open up the front piece and the back piece okay make sure that you place them with the right sides facing each other now i'm going to take my belt okay the part of my belt that is not closed i'm going to place it on that part that three inch mark i, I marked on my the waistline and then i'm going to go ahead and cover it with my back piece okay so just sandwich your belt in between your front piece and your back piece but make sure that the front piece and back piece are facing each other with the right side and then just sew along the shoulder leave the armhole free and then sew just the way i'm showing you okay sew along the line that i'm showing you and once you turn it to the right side this is what you're going to have do the same thing for the other waist waistband as well this is what you're going to have can you see how easy it is to make this beautiful style now moving on to the sleeve what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and fold my um the hem of my sleeve okay i'm just going to fold it and sew it down and then i'm going to insert my elastic the circumference of my wrist is eight inches so the length of my elastic is also eight inches so i just cut that out and then i'm going to insert it into that um channel at the hem of my sleeve now once you've inserted the elastic just go ahead and fold your sleeve in half with the right sides of the sleeve facing each other so just go ahead and fold it in half and then go ahead and just close the sleeve or join the sleeve with um about half inch seam allowance now after that turn your sleeve to the right side and this is what you're going to have make sure you do the same thing for your other sleeve as well and then all you have to do now is just insert your sleeve to your dress and you're literally done that's how to make this easy beautiful piece i really really love how this turned out i'm going to show you the two ways that you can style it this is how it looks like without tying the belt and it's actually wearable like this but to make that wrapper effect all you have to do is just twist the belt twice in front okay and then take the belt to the back and tie it into a lovely bow okay and this is what it looks like guys like it's so 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 beautiful i really love this i'm so wearing this to church this sunday <laughs> And this is how lovely it looks so this is the first way to style this beautiful booboo -boo wrapper dress i'm going to show you the next way to style it in a minute now all you have to do is just on on untie this yeah and then you can go ahead and tie this to the back so it's just an easy easy booboo -boo dress anybody that sees it like this wouldn't even know that it can be styled in a wrapper form okay but this is it guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up bye